On to other news right now, children's hospitals around Metro Atlanta are strained to capacity. That's according to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Staff blames a drastic rise in respiratory viruses in kids as they work to relieve pressure and reduce wait times in the emergency room. Joe Ripley looks at some ways you can help. I know. Lillian Joins has had a rough week. Her mother, April, says she noticed Lillian constantly coughing, so she took her to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Scottish Rite Hospital. Put her on oxygen, and she tested positive for rhinovirus, RSV, and pneumonia. Data from the Georgia Department of Public Health shows influenza and RSV, a respiratory virus common in kids, have gotten four times as contagious in just a matter of weeks. And 34% of those testing for rhino and terovirus are testing positive. Joint says her daughter waited hours for care. At one point, Joint was told she needed to transfer Lily into Eggleston Hospital, but that was at capacity. You see your your children and their and, and all the kids here waiting and lined up in hallways and it, it is hard. Um, I feel like they are doing their best to get um, kids seen and in a room. Children's Health Care of Atlanta tells 11 Alive they're experiencing high volumes of kids coming into their doors just like it is nationwide because of higher volumes of early flu, RSV, rhinovirus and COVID-19 causing respiratory problems in children. Children says it has critical capacity constraints. It set up an emergency care tent outside Scottish Ride to help reduce wait times. So what can you do to take pressure off the hospitals? Children's recommend staying home and contacting your pediatrician if your child has a low grade fever, fatigue, congestion or sore throat. Head to an urgent care center if your child has a fever with flu like symptoms, ear pain, mild skin rash, persistent vomiting and diarrhea. And go to the emergency department if your child has a fever over 100.4, trouble breathing, signs of dehydration or constant chest pains and call 911 if you think your child's illness is life-threatening. Really be vigilant and take the extra time to watch them, watch their symptoms. In Atlanta, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.